Hey guys, Braxis here. We'll be playing some Universe Sandbox 2. Uh, let me fix that audio real quick. Okay, so I have a suggestion from Daniel Shaw, which I've actually gotten this one quite a bit. And the suggestion is to give our moon its own moon. So let's see what we can do about that. I was fixing the resolution in the settings because I was recording a video earlier. I uploaded a clip of it of Neptune colliding with Saturn. It's basically gonna be like a montage of tons of collisions and stuff. Something just like a little bit fun. I mean, I do a lot of like universe sandbox stuff, and uh, I figured it'd be kind of cool to make like a kind of, uh, I guess, quote unquote, cinematic video of, uh, yeah, of just the uh, of just universe sandbox too, because I've never actually done that before. Apart from like things like the Christmas thing, but I mean, you can call that what you want. Uh, let's see. So we have the sun over here, and we have Earth. Earth does not have a moon orbiting around it, so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that. And let's add in the whole system, Earth and Moon, at 1 AU away. Now one thing worth noting is binary systems, or, well, these kind of like systems are actually difficult to do. Like, I don't think I'm gonna actually going to be, actually gonna be able to get away with like a uh, actual... Uh, kind of planetary body as a moon, something like something around the same size as the moon, for example. But I am going to change the view over to orbits so we can actually get an idea of what we're dealing with. So there's going to be two main things kind of influencing the uh, gravity here. The moon, of course, is what it's going to be trying to orbit around. But there's actually something a little bit difficult. Like, let's say I put Mercury around Earth and try to make it orbit. Oh, I put it like way out here it may or may not actually escape Earth's orbit and start orbiting around the Sun. And there it goes. Yep, there it goes. So we just lost Mercury, so it's no longer a moon around Earth. So that, for example, doesn't really work very well. Also, why is Earth in Oceania? Uh... That is... <laughs> because of Mercury. Oh, I guess Earth is in Oceania. Okay, well, I'll just ignore that. Okay, so we got the moon over here. Which, uh... Does not really look like our moon. I'm going to just delete these and put them back. I don't think they were supposed to do that. For some reason, the moon was resurfaced and Earth was in Oceania. Probably resurfaced as well. That looks a little bit more like Earth. I have no clue why that happened at all. And does this look like Luna? It certainly does. Of course, it's actually facing the wrong direction, but I ain't gonna worry too much about that. So technically, any natural object that starts orbiting a planet would be a moon. So if I wanted to make a moon of a moon, I think my best bet would be to take something like Halley's Comet and actually make it just orbit the moon like that. And that's actually being destroyed by tidal forces, so we'll just let that continue. But that right there is technically a moon around the moon. And I think that would be stable just because it's such a small mass. And it's just orbiting around such a uh, small mass compared to Earth that it's not actually going to get captured in Earth's orbit and pulled around Earth. Or escape Earth's orbit and orbit around the sun, so... I think it is safe if we do something like that, give or take the fact that it's being destroyed by tidal forces and it's kind of turning into a comet and forming a ring. You know, that might just be a property of Halley's Comet, but I could be wrong about that. What I'll do is I'll zoom out here. I don't really, I'll, I'll let those particles continue on, I ain't too worried about them. And let's see, what about something like Haumea? This is something that I would consider more of like a moon-like object for the moon. We can't let it orbit too close or else one or the other will probably destroy each other or they'll start orbiting each other. And we don't want that. So I'm going to put it right over here and hopefully that is actually stable. Okay, so that orbit actually looks like it might be stable. Now, whether or not it's stable for thousands and thousands of years, I would not really know. And I can't really test that simulation anyways. But Let's have a little bit more fun. So it looks like we have a stable orbit with the moon, going around a moon, going around Earth, going around the sun. 
Let's see if we can give Homea its own little moon. Like, uh... Swift Tuttle here. This little asteroid. And see if we could get this just to orbit around that. So it doesn't look like we can make a stable orbit out of that. Uh, I was asked multiple times to make a moon with a moon with a moon with a moon and so on. But it looks like this is about the limit I could do with uh, bodies that are this size and this distance. So yeah, let's see if I can get something to orbit like very, very close. Something like this and get it to orbit nearly colliding with the planet. Nope, that fell right in. I don't think I would be able to do that. No, it just wants to orbit with very high eccentricity and then it's going to fly out and probably be captured by Luna. Yeah, it's being influenced too much by the moon there, so that's not going to work, but it does look like we can uh, at least get a stable system with something like these two objects orbiting around Earth, orbiting around the sun, which is kind of interesting. Now I'm going to do one more twist to this and see if we can get one more thing to work. I should po probably pause the game. I want to get rid of Haumea. I want to go back to the moon. And what would be something I could use? Maybe Palace. Let's put Palace right here. And let's make it a binary orbit. So like this and then have these two orbiting each other and see if we could actually make something stable there now from my past experience I've never actually been able to get this to work properly so hopefully this will work no it looks like it wants to be captured by earth but maybe just maybe it might be stable for a little bit let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit no nope, they ended up colliding becoming a bigger moon which is now orbiting the moon so I hope that answers some questions. I get these ones a lot where people want me to like orbit moons around moons or just binary systems around things. It doesn't work that well. Sorry, my thread's killing me. It doesn't really work that well. Uh, I've never actually been able to successfully get binary orbits to actually work properly and still have something orbiting around it unless it's an incredibly far distance. Like if I were to get rid of all these real quick the Sun and the Sun binary with the Sun start rotating each other I guess something to actually orbit stable around this I'm gonna have to have like a fairly massive object such as Jupiter and have it orbit rather far away something like this that should be stable I think if it's even still orbiting In fact, I think I just messed it up. Accidentally set binary orbit for Jupiter. So, here we go. Maybe this will orbit around? No, it still doesn't quite want to do that. So the game doesn't really like to do these kind of orbits. It, it just gets very unstable, and as you can see, the orbits are freaking out. Well, I don't do binary orbits, so... I just kind of wanted to show that. Uh, I'm not like ignoring your guys' suggestions. I do certainly read them. It's just I, I've never been able to do binary orbits properly. If somebody could give me like a better explanation of why that's not working, do let me know. But uh, I can't seem to get an object to orbit around a binary orbit. It just freaks out and does not actually work. If I use a less massive object like Saturn and put it way out here at, let's say, 13 astronomical units or something like that, well, as you can see by its orbit map, it's not even orbiting around these two suns anymore. It's just going to take off. Which, to me, just makes no sense. So, yeah. Anyways, if you guys like the video, please leave it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe. It really does help. See you guys in the next one.